Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video I'll teach you how to make a flying game on Scratch and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So for this game we're going to have a drone on the screen, it's going to keep falling down due to the gravity and every time we press the spacebar the drone's going to move up or if we hold the spacebar the drone's going to go up and there's basically obstacles coming towards it has to avoid the obstacles or it's game over so let's create this drone. So um, we'll do something like this for the base and we are going to add some decoration to it like this and then we'll add two legs and that is a very very easy drone and you can make your drone look nicer than mine but I'm just going to stick to that for now and let's get coding this drone so when green flag clicked we want to change the backdrop to just this backdrop at the minute I'm going to create a game over backdrop so that's why we need to switch it we are wanting to show then we have to set the starting position and this is going to be the position the drone's basically in well it will move up and down but won't the X position won't change so I'm going to choose X minus 90 and Y 30 and then we're going to create a forever loop and uh, we're going to create our gravity force so it's going to always be pushing the drone down by minus 5 and then if this key space is pressed so if the user clicks on the space key and then after that we need to repeat until condition inside this so um, repeat until not key space pressed and we are going to repeat 10 times and then we are going to change y by positive 5 and basically how the script works is very confusing but basically when I click on the space key let's say it's going to keep repeating this it's going to keep going up until I let go of the space key so that allows you to hold the space key for as long as you want um, and that's basically going to make the robot move higher. If you don't want the robot to uh, go down so quickly, you can change this value. You can change it, let's say, negative 4, negative 3. That's going to make it move down slower. But I'm just going to keep it at negative 5 for now. And what we need to do now is program our game over. So we need our if condition. Make sure it's below this if condition, by the way. We are going to use the or operator. And the or operator basically means if one of the conditions inside that operator is true, then the whole operator is true. So we are going to need two of these for now. And then we need a greater than operator and a less than operator. And basically what that is for is basically when the drone is touching the bottom of the screen or touching the very, very top of the screen, it's game over. So... Uh, y position is greater than let's say 160 and the uh, Y position is less than let's say minus 180 which is the lowest you can get and then we are going to add the sensing block if it's touching the color black so let's say if it's touching the color black let's say and then we're going to hide we want to switch our backdrop but we haven't created the backdrop yet so I'll do that very very quickly so let's just type a very simple uh, we need a fill actually I don't have a fill game over you can make this look fancy than mine it's just I'm rushed to do the tutorial I don't have time to make this look nice so we'll go back and we need to switch our backdrop and then we need to stop everything so stop what okay that's basically all the code for now I'm going to add to the drone now we're going to create our buildings so uh, the buildings is basically going to be moving towards the drone and if the drone touches the building it's game over and I want the buildings not just to be um, just at the same height I want it to gradually get start low and then gradually get higher and higher and higher so let's create our building we want a black rectangle and make sure the color you choose to make the building is the same color as you did for that touch and color command in the drone so make sure they are exactly the same um, let's do something like this okay that's perfect and then what we need to do is start coding it so when green flag clicked we want this building to hide we don't want it to come out straight away we want to um, add a bit of delay so let's say maybe one second delay and we need to set our position so set position to this and the reason why the y value is so low is because the building's going to start down like this and it's going to gradually get higher and higher and higher um actually looking at it i think minus 320 is probably a bit too low 
minus 294 looks good so I'm going to switch it to minus 295 that's going to keep going higher and higher and higher so how we do that is we need to create a clone to do that so we're not going to actually be using the building because if we did we'd have like 10 different but then we have like 100 different sprites so we need to create a clone so we need to create a clone and um, let's say every three seconds for now so let's say repeat create a clone every three seconds when I start as a clone uh, then you want to you want to go to a certain position so I'm just gonna let's say go to 300 and minus 295 so it's going to start all the way here and then it's going to gradually um, move left to hit the sprite so we need to show clone and then we need to repeat until the X position is less than minus 235 which is basically the very left of the screen so repeat until this is less than negative 235 and then we want it to keep moving left so change X by minus 3 and then after that we want to delete the clone because we're done with it okay and then when we start as the clone we need another one of these and this is going to be what makes the building grow so it makes it go up so we need to repeat for a certain number of times and we are going to use a random number generator for that so it's at a random height so let's say 30 to 70 so we're going to change y by 2 so basically if the value generated is high the building's going to be high if the value generated is very low it's going to be a very low building so that's how it works and i think that's everything now so we'll give it a test there we go there we go, that's our first building. Let's say I touch this one, game over. Exactly what we want. So this um, script is again a bit boring now, so we're gonna add another obstacle. So let's say we add um, a flying cat. And it's, um, if we touch the flying cat, it's game over. So right now the flying cat is facing right, but I want it to face left, so just click on direction here, choose this option and make it rotate until it faces left, like this. Perfect. And um, we are going to create the code for this. So when we if I clicked, hide, and then we want to actually wait a couple of seconds before it shows. And I'm actually want to create a score variable to do that. So we're just going to create a score variable and repeat until score is greater than a certain value. And I'll control the score variable in a minute. But right now I just want to get this cat coded, and then we can go back and control the score variable. So let's say score is equal to 6 um, we we're going to show and then we want to set our position so we're going to set let's say 240 very right of the screen and we want a random y position so I'm going to set let's say random 30 to 50 it's completely random and then we need to repeat until the X position is less than minus 235. So it's basically the same code as this bit over here. It's the exact same code. So I'm just going to do that very, very quickly. Okay, so change X by minus. We'll go minus 2. This time we don't have to go as fast as the building because the building is minus 3. This one's minus 2. And then we need to hide once we're done. And now we'll go back and do the score. So the score over here and um, we'll do when green flag clicked we're going to use a forever loop and let's say every uh two seconds uh the user survives they get a point so change the score by one for every two seconds and we need to set the score to zero so you need to set the score to zero when the green flag's clicked and now we need to actually get rid of this cat sprite um, when we switch the backdrop to the game over backdrop so this needs to go away so very simple script that will do that and um, that's we can do the same here if we wanted to so hide okay that's basically everything at the minute so let's give it a quick test perfect Okay, that's a game over there. We'll try again.
So the cat's not here yet because the score needs to reach 6 for the cat to come. Okay, there we go. There's our cat. We need to try and avoid that. Okay, that was game over there. And I touched the building. I didn't actually touch the cat. So there is a problem with this code. So we need to change this or condition. So we need another or condition. And that needs to be if it's touching the cat. So if it's touching the flying cat, then it's game over. So that was the problem. That's why it didn't, when I touched the cat first, there wasn't a game over. That should be fixed right now. And um, that's really it. We'll try again. Okay, that's a game over. I'm not very good at this game. So we need to get to score equal six for the cat to start and we'll start testing it then. Okay, there it is. So let's say I touch it this time. Game over. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. And I'm going to add one thing to make the game a bit more interesting. So over here, instead of using this forever loop, I want the buildings to get closer together. So more buildings appear more frequently and once the score increases. So let's say repeat until score is greater than, um, let's say, 5. then I'm going to create a clone every three seconds, then otherwise, then it's going to create a clone every, let's say, two and a half seconds. So it's going to be much quicker. And now I'm going to play. There we go. Okay, now notice the buildings are um, appear more frequently. I need to try and get over this cat. Oh, I touched the top of the screen. That's game over. So that's basically it. All you need to do is you need to add more cats onto the screen. Or you can maybe do, use different sprites. You can maybe add a bat or something. And you can just keep adding them at whatever time interval you choose. Or alternatively, you can just make a clone for the cat. And just keep cloning every, um, so off, like every three seconds, let's say. And to make this game more interesting, you can add background music, you can make this game over screen look a bit more fancier, make a better drone, make better buildings. And instead of using this score, let's say every two seconds you get a point, instead you can maybe add what like coins on the screen and every time the drone um, touches a coin you get a point, let's say. Or you can maybe make like a speed boost as well, so when it touches a special coin, the drone speeds up. So... Um, it, it basically it goes up and down faster, so if you know what I mean. And there's lots of possibilities with this game, but I'm going to leave it there for today. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you um, enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will post this on my Scratch page, um, but that is bye for now.